Libra, you are up for the October general energy reading. Okay, so also been going for a minute. I just been doing my thing. So this is kind of late, but still, nonetheless, here it is. Also, there will be a love reading. There will be a money reading. Because it is Libra season, you will receive bonuses for every single reading that I do. So you will get a bonus general reading. You'll get a bonus love reading. And you'll get a bonus money reading with the regular love and money readings. All right. So let's get into this. Card that came out. And this was intuitively pulled, this particular card. Something I didn't know what it was, but something told me to take it. And I did. You got the star. So this is Aquarius energy. You could have it in your chart. You could be dealing with some Aquariuses, but honestly, I just feel this is the energy for you where there's some type of healing going on right now. I feel that you're, you'll be making some good decisions this month. And also because the sun is in your sign, that's, that's a plus too. So that's a really good thing. You're going to get some communication as well because the card that's clarifying the star is the eight of wands. And that means something is coming in. And Eight of Wands is usually good energy, fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe you will receive information from one of those signs. But when this communication comes in, it's something that is connected to healing and maybe something you were wishing for. And I don't know why the song... Um, there's a song that Whitney Houston sang. And it's, she's not the original singer of it, but it's called Help Is On The Way. And that's what I just heard in my head. Hold on, help is on the way. I feel like for some of you, you've been dealing with a lot of voices, not just voices in your head, but voices around you. And with that happening, I just feel like you're just kind of over certain things. And you're like, okay, can I just catch a break? That, that's been kind of the thing. You will get that. Because the other card that followed is the sun. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. So this is Leo energy, so more fire energy. And with the sun, you're getting a new beginning because the card that clarified the sun is the fool. And if you notice, the sun is right behind the fool right there. So, and I just heard the sun is shining on you. Whatever this is, it is something where you want freedom. It's also something where you want flexibility. You may be in a position now. I don't know if this is a job situation, a marriage or whatever, but it may be like something where you just want to be able to do what you want to do. You don't necessarily want to. You don't want your schedule to be based off of other people, if that makes sense. It's sort of like, let's say you're in a relationship or you have a child or something like that. And let's say you want to stay up late one night. But you can't because you got to take your kid to school in the morning. <laughs> so it, it's just something like that where you're, it's like your, your life, your schedule is tied to somebody else's schedule. And it could be work where you're like you're tired of doing nine to five. You want to be able to just work when you want to work. Could be something else. But there's some type of freedom coming in. There's some type of chance that you will be able to take. I feel whatever the star energy is, whatever this communication is that comes in, that will give you the resources that you need to do what you're looking to do. Nine of Pentacles came out. Nine of Pentacles, I consider like a solo card. Also, it is an independence card. It's very independent energy. It's pre-empress energy. You're technically Libra, you are one of the signs that is considered Empress energy because Empress is Venus. Venus is your ruling planet. So with this Nine of Pentacles, again, making the decision, do you want to go solo? Some of you might be leaving a marriage. Jeezy, Jenny Ma or Jenny Ma and Jeezy, Jeezy is a Libra. He's the one who decided to leave the marriage. He said the reason was because of differences with how things operate. Which, honestly, I already knew that was going to go left when um, the mother-in-law moved into the house. Like, we ain't even going to go there. But you know what I'm saying. That's not saying that that's your situation. I'm just saying that for some of you, it may have been a thing like, okay, I wanted this, but now I don't know if I want this. Judgment is clarifying the Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, you could find money in a judgment. 
as in a court judgment. Maybe you're receiving a refund on your student loans or something else is coming through that you didn't even know about that you were being paid. I was talking to a friend yesterday and she was telling me how something with um, people receiving phone calls they shouldn't have received or information being kept during a phone call. The airlines had to refund or, or pay out a settlement and she said that she ended up getting $100 and her mother ended up receiving like $500 just from that random class action settlement with the airlines over phone call information or some mess like that. So it may be something that comes up in your own money and the judgment is in your favor. For others of you, this is just you making a decision. Do you want to go independent? Do you want to start your own business? Do you want to leave something? Whatever it is, do you want to take control of your finances? This is just exercising Making a judgment to exercise your independence. So it could, it could go either way. The card that followed is the five of pentacles. Now, with this, I don't feel that there is necessarily any lack. I do feel that there's been a lot of money going out. And I also feel for some of you, if you're thinking about starting your own business, you will have to invest a large sum into whatever business you are starting. I don't feel like this is a business that you're starting where you can just do it with like $100 or, or something like that. I feel um, I'm hearing product in my head. So for some of you, you will have to start, you're planning on starting to sell a product. So obviously you'll have to invest to buy the product to get it and then sell it and make your money back. So for some of you, and I just heard $5,000 in my head. So for some of you, you may have to do a significant investment to get the product, sell it, and then make the money back and then some. That's what I feel this is for some of you. For others of you, I feel like this could have been past energy. And that's what you're saying goodbye to. Clarifying the five of pentacles is the eight of pentacles. So some, I just heard sudden turnaround. So somebody might see a sudden turnaround um, related to their finances. But attached to the eight of pentacles is the three of pentacles. Eight, I said eight of pentacles. Eight of cups. So, Eight of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Pentacles, Earth Energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Also, the Fool is Aquarius and Aries Energy. Judgment is Pluto, so Scorpio Energy. So, with that, some of you may be walking away from a group situation. Again, going solo. I also feel, for some of you, especially with the... Um, okay, something told me to take... The, what is this? Ah, the Eight of Swords and the Six of Swords. Yeah, moving away from it. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords. With those voices, I just feel the interaction, you're kind of over it. Because at the bottom of the other deck is the Devil. What I also feel is that whatever these relationships are, I feel like they make you into a person that you don't like being. You know how some people just get un on your nerves or get under your skin by doing certain things? Especially if you're in a romantic relationship. It just You're not the devil. It's just when you're around them, the things that they do turn you into the devil. And you don't like that, which is why you're moving away from it. Again, Six of Swords happened to come out unexpectedly when I was moving the deck. So, and also, Eight of Swords came out with isolation, meaning you don't feel like talking to people. That's the other thing. I feel like everyone has had something to say, and you're just like, I don't care. <laughs> so, that's been kind of the energy. But whatever this is, I feel you don't want to have to answer to anyone. You don't want to have to be on anyone else's schedule. And you don't want to, and I heard, don't want to have to depend on anyone. You just want to do your own thing. It's not a thing of what I'm hearing in my head is it's not a thing of like, oh, I want power and all of this other stuff. You just want freedom. You just want to be able to just if you want to chill, you want to chill. If you want to go on a on an adventure, you can go on an adventure. It's just like you just don't want to be restrained or constrained. That's what I'm getting and how whatever it takes to get to that type of freedom you're willing to do it. And based off of the star and the sun and the nine of pentacles, it seems like it's going to happen. It's just a point of what the actions you take. All right. So that is your message. Until next time, Libra, happy birthday and be blessed.